What's going on everybody? Welcome to my review of Naruto Shibuden episode 278, The Targeted Medical Ninja. Now, I I was sure coming to this episode it was gonna be like not a real filler episode, but like a filler episode inside of like the main stuff, not really real good action or story. But the chapter pretty much starts with this. And this is pretty epic because in my opinion, the, these are two of the strongest ninja in the entire world, and they're like together and talking. Like I never I never expected Itachi to be speaking conversationally with Nagato, you know what I mean? I mean they were talking about why they're here, how they're back, what what the overall plan must be. And they're actually talking about how much they knew about the Akatsuki and they both explained to each other like the, they were both ended up being used ninja pretty much. Which is crazy because the both I mean they're both they both have, you know, Renigan, Mangeki or Sharingan. They're both even without those abilities, they're both pretty exceptional ninja, and uh, I just think I think they're both pretty badass. And they uh, not that it's really means anything, but you know they both I think they both also have uh, really good voice actors. I suppose I, I don't know. I like their voice actors. They yeah, they were talking. That was kind of like a, a mind blowing thing. I mean, I knew they were there, but you know what I mean? Like they're they're speaking to each other. It was kind of it's like two gods talking to each other. You know what I mean? So I thought that was pretty cool. And it goes to the chapter into it, um, since they're at night, it's like a stalemate right now, and I expected, I really didn't expect too much, just like, maybe conversational stuff until morning, and maybe go to the fight with, uh, Naruto B and the Hokage and, uh, Raikage, but they actually, um, Neji kind of, like, passed over and ended up going to the medical pavilion, which they had in the back, and, uh, you gotta look at the medical corpse, which is pretty cool, because the thing about the medical corpse is it's not something you always think about anymore, but it's always there kind of thing. And I really like that, that they went back and showed all that. And then they had a really cool setting, which I really love, and they haven't done this in too many episodes, and I love it when someone can execute it properly, like a kind of like mystery sort of thing, where there was a killer somehow, even through all the sensory ninjas, a, uh, you know, someone from the other, not allies, you know, because I don't know if they really have a, you know, claim for themselves, but someone was into the uh, medical corps, and they were killing off, the medical specialists, the Jonin ones, and it was pretty cool because you didn't know who it was, and it was like a murder mystery thing, and I really liked that sort of thing, and it ended up being some random guy, no, it ended up being uh, Neji, and it was interesting because I kind of knew the whole time it was Neji, even though they, you know, they put the blame on someone else who was walking around, because as it turned out, the white Zetsu clones that absorb, like, chakra and energy kind of, they actually can mirror, perfectly mirror a transformation due to, so even sensory type ninjas don't know who it is, so now the allied shinobis, now that they know this, they have all these white zetsu clones mixed in with real shinobis, and even the best sensory ninjas can't tell the difference, so that's actually kind of crazy to think about, like, you can't tell, no matter, like, you just can't tell if this guy is your friend or not, and it gives zetsu more of a, I feel like, you know what I mean, like, zetsu's kind of like the forgotten Akatsuki member, like, no one really gives him enough credit, but I think, I always, I've always wanted to see, like, I don't think we'll see it, though, the, both zetsus together fighting, but I think they're probably more powerful apart, I don't know. But it, it is giving, uh, you know, White Zetsu more of a, a name, I guess, more than just the fact that he can have, like, a million of himself. But a million just getting killed off, you know what I mean? It's like the Shadow Clone thing. Like, yeah, you have 50 Shadow Clones, but it, it loses its effect when they just all die, you know what I mean? So I thought that was pretty cool. And it, 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 was, it was a really cool, like, chapter for both this and, like, the whole murder mystery going on. I, I love that kind of feel, that vibe in the story. And they did a really good job of it. And I guess we got a little bit more background on Sakura because she got to be the hero of this episode, which was... You know, people rag on Sakura, and I try not to, but, eh, eh, that's, I'm just gonna leave it at that. And so the episode ended with Shikaku, who is pretty much in control of the Allied Shinobi forces right now that the Raikage and Hokage went off. So Shikaku is, like, the only one who's really calling the shots, and I gotta tell you, I do not envy his job. He's gotta come up with a solution right now, a good solution to fix this problem that no one can fix, and he's gotta do it, you know, right now, it's, that's way too much stress. I know he's a genius, but... Well, I don't, I don't envy his job, but, you know, I was, I was very pleasantly surprised in how this episode turned out with them talking, the whole feel that, uh, murder mystery vibe thing going on, and now the problem that's weeded in the Allied Shinobi's forces that they know, that not even the best sense of ninja can tell who is real and who isn't, so, I'm really looking forward to the next episode, I'm looking forward to seeing more of these guys, and I'm looking forward to everything that they've got lined up for whatever could be in the next episode. So that's going to do it for me. Those are my thoughts. As always, I'd like to hear what you guys thought. So until next time, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you later.